Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be storing more photo cards. I don't have anything else to say in the intro, so we can just get started. Normally I have some like anecdote about like, you know, how long I've had these cards or like how many cards I have, but I've got nothing. I got nothing for you. We can just get started. I guess I can show you the tray. Here's your sneak peek teaser. Can you see how thick that NCT stack is? And funnily enough, only like half of it is like actual collection stuff. Anyway, I feel like that's how my NCT section has been for the past like two months. Anyway, um, we're gonna start in my Fromis binder. Um, I have one card for this binder today and I think it's gonna be me finishing an album. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, 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 it's not. Oh, it's not. But I will be finishing this page. And I feel like I've talked about this card every single time that I talk about my Sodom collection. Oh, for a second I was like, wait, are they the same card? No, thank God. But the My Account version for Sodom's photo cards are impossible, or they were, until I saw someone was selling theirs, or I think actually I traded for this, and it was still available, surprisingly. Every time I've seen it before, it's always been gone, but this one was available. Um, thank God. So now the My Account version will be finally complete. I definitely prefer Jihan's cards over Sodom's cards, but that's just because it's like selfie versus non-selfie, so what can you do? I just need to get the last cupcake, Jihan, and then... I don't know if I'm still gonna collect the mini cards, because I don't have any for Jihan's, and I'm just not moved by them. I don't know, we'll see. Someone sell me these Jihan's, and then also sell me the uh, Midnight Guest ones. Please! Please! Anyway, that's all I had for from this. Come back soon, I'm just making shit up. This is my Triple S binder, I only have one card for today. I desperately need to make progress, I wanna... Mm, I don't want to say I want to catch up before OT24 debut or whatever. Is that comeback? Would that be debut or comeback? Whatever. I don't want to, like, catch up before then, because I still want to, like, have fun with this collection and, you know, take it slow. Oh, I have decided to, like, start my Yubin and Sohyun collections, though. <laughs> my collection for Triple S is so confusing. I guess technically right now I click Jiu, Sohyun Yubin, and then OT8 Crystallize, and then OT8 Evolution. But these aren't my second and third biases. It's just because I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Once OT24 is like released or whatever, I will have a more concise plan for what I'm going to be doing. Um, but for now, all I have is this 208 oops, Mayu card. It is scanned, so get your paws off. She's mine. Um, I actually have a set of evolution cards on the way to me currently. I think it's going to like almost complete evolution for me. I think I'll be missing like four or something, something like that. I don't remember actually, but evolution has been slow for me, <laughs> despite it coming out like almost six months ago, maybe longer than that. So I need to get to work. I need to get to work on this. But yeah, that's all I had for Triple S. I'm so excited for Girls Never Die and for S20 through S, no wait, S21 through S24 to be released. At the moment I'm filming this, they have announced the teasers for 21 through 23 and then tomorrow the teaser for 24 is gonna come out or the teaser for the teaser It's so funny that they're like teasing the teaser for the member only triple s you know what I mean? So for my girl group binder, I actually did move one of my collections that are in here I moved them into a different binder. So this actually has more room now more room to grow I'm prepared for comebacks except for I'm not please actually I hope nobody in this binder has a comeback anytime soon. Except for WJ Sun. I take it back. Please have a comeback. Please have a comeback <laughs> Anyway, I have one card for Red Velvet. It's for Chill Kill. I think it's this S mini card. Smini. I watched a NCT Dream video today and Jenno called it a Smini. So I'm going to try to adopt that as the way that I say it. Because I say it all three ways. Smini, SM mini, S mini. I'm trying, I'm going to, you know, <laughs> try to pronounce it correctly. So I have that card for Chill Kill. I need to make major progress on this page, but I'll get there. I'm okay with my Joy collection being a slow collection because I feel like I speed through the rest of my collections i'm okay with taking my time for joy it's not a race it's not a race okay i actually do have a wjsn card for the day for today and it's a card that i've talked about mm, maybe every single time <laughs> that i open my wjsn section the first ever cards that i collected for wjsn were these sequence um ot4 or i guess top four cards i very quickly almost completed sequence like i found all of these cards for keep super fast it's been about like a year probably more since then and i have been searching for the solo jewel case forever i've looked on instagram i've looked on mercari japan i looked on mercari us like i've been so desperate i've had i think two trades fall through for this card i want to give a huge shout out to jeff din jeff here on youtube he dm'd me one day with a link to the solo jewel case 
photo card. And he was like, I don't know if you have a Mercari Japan order open right now, but I saw this. Do you want me to order it for you? Actually, and I should have said yes, because I was like, no, I got it. I can order it. I had a Mercari Japan package open at the time that I was about to consolidate because they were about to like run out of like their free storage time. But I was like, no, I'll still have time to order this. It will arrive in time and I won't have to pay the extra fee. I ended up having to pay like an extra $25 because, because this took forever to ship to the warehouse. And I had all of those other cars just sitting, waiting, and they were running past their free storage time. So I ended up paying like an extra $25 all because of this card. But at least, you know, I have it now. I can't even complain. <laughs> what should have been a $3 photo card ended up being like a $30 photo card, if that's how you want to think about it. It's kind of an embarrassing story now that I say it out loud, but that storage fee is no joke. Guys, when you're almost out of free storage, consolidate and send it to you. You do not have time. <laughs> you may think you have a couple days. You do not have time. It's going to charge you an extra $20. Anyway, so that's what I have for WJSN. Please have a comeback. Please have a comeback. I'm going to start crying. So for Dreamcatcher, I think I talked about it in my last video how I was going to downsize my Dreamcatcher collection. I decided to stop collecting the platform versions of all of the um, albums. I am keeping them. So as you can see, like the ones that I had, these are platform versions. And then I think, yeah, these were platform versions. I'm still keeping them. They'll just go in my extra card section. If I come across more platform cards that I want, I can put them back here. I just don't want them a part of like my official collection because the whole reason I was like stressed out about my Dreamcatcher collection was because there were so many platform and limited cards. Not that I collected limited, but it was just so much. So now I'm only collecting album cards, like normal standard album cards for Yuhyun. And it makes me feel so much better about the collection. Um, I'm much more excited to try to complete her or catch up on her and then like, you know, maybe back collect. I might come back to the platform versions once I like fully catch up, but for now I'm happy. And the first card I have is the last card I needed for Apocalypse. Follow us. From us? Follow us? I have Frog Hyun. I genuinely thought that I wouldn't ever get this card because it's so like popular. This Octo Yu Hyun and then the Cat Yu Hyun from... Also, the same album are like really hard cards, in my experience, to like find and to get. Um, but someone offered me a trade for this card for one of the Shians I had. Thank God. So now this album is done. And now that I'm not collecting the platform versions anymore, I don't have to worry about the Cat Hyun that I was going to have to worry about. So I'm content. This might be the first complete album. Actually, no. I'm done with whatever this album is. Apocalypse Save Us. So this is the second album that I'm completing. For Versus Villains, in... The said Mercari Japan order that I was talking about for like my solo card. I was able to find this set of Dreamcatcher or <laughs> of Yuhyun's versus Villains standard edition selfie cards in a set for like $4. And I thought it was too good to be true. I thought when it came, it was going to be like one of them. Like they were going to trick me and make me think I was getting all three, but really I was getting one. But then they're all here. They're all accounted for. So I just need the concept card um, and then I'll be done with this album. This is way, way, way easier than what I would have had to collect if I'd been collecting the platforms, and I feel much better about it. So that's everything that I have for Dreamcatcher today. I told you guys in the last video that I didn't forget about Dreamcatcher. I just didn't have any at the time. For Espa, I think if you watched my last video, I talked about how I was going to almost be completing my <laughs> Giselle collection in this storing video because I basically bought her entire collection on Mercari. Um, I'll, I'm still missing like three cards or something like that. And for those three cards, I'm in no rush. I, you know, I feel like for all of my collections, I'm always like, I just want to catch up before the next comeback. I'm trying to do that less because it's fun to collect. So why would I try to finish what I have like a good time doing, you know? I'm trying to change my mindset. But at the same time, if I see cheap cards, all I want to do is buy them. And Giselle is uber cheap, especially on Mercari Japan. And I hope I'm putting these in like the right like sets or whatever. Because I didn't look at a template, I kind of guessed based on the back. So tell me if I'm right or wrong or what, and I'll fix it. But that's Savage. I think I might try to collect SMCU for 2021. I think this is 2021. That way I can have Savage up here and then SMCU and it'll fill up a whole nine pocket page. But that's like for me later to worry about. <laughs> that's like in the future. Okay, and then I'm finishing Girls. So the only two albums I'll have complete today will be Savage and Girls. And then I'll just be close on the other two. Okay, for my world, these are all my world. Um, I think these are the two cards I'm missing. This is drama, pause. <laughs> so I think these are the ones that I have here. This is the poster version. And then this is the tabloid version, supposedly. I think I have one of these on the way actually in a trade. So 
so much for going slow with the last ones I need. But yeah, that's what I have for Welcome to My World. This is crazy, actually. Hold on, I need a moment. That's crazy, okay. Um, and then for drama, I have these three cards. So this is her Sminny. Thanks, Jenna. Sminny. And then whatever this one that I just pulled out was called. <laughs> giant. Which looks exactly like her target card. In case you don't know, this is her target card. This is her giant card. She said, here, damn. And then I have the Hoodie Giselle from the sequence version. I Her sequence cards are my favorite Giselle cards, maybe ever. These two, and then these two. <laughs> Top tier Giselle photo cards. I'm super excited to get the other one. Um, I guess that's the only one I'm missing for drama, so that'll be like fun to hopefully try to get and complete. For my OT4 sets, I still haven't picked a drama set. They're actually about to have a comeback, I think in May or something like that, like two months from now. I don't know what my goal is going to be before then, because um, I think in my last video I said I want to try to catch up, but again, I'm not trying to catch up anymore. Um, maybe it'll just be to like finish either drama or my world, one or the other, and then maybe like start a drama set. So for this extra page, some of the cards that I got on Mercari, they came in like a like set with other cards, obviously. Um, and they had these extra pobs for Giselle. I think this one is her Apple Music and then this one is Make Star. And I think these are so beautiful. I have been considering collecting not album for Giselle, only casually, only like the cards that I like, kind of like how I do for Kim Lip and Jamin. Um, just whatever I see, if it's cheap, you know, that I might buy it. Because um, I think she has a lot of good non-album cards, especially for drama in my world. So I might, you know, start trying to like fill up maybe a couple more pages. I don't want to say a couple, a page or two. And then like I said, I might try to do Giselle for SMCU and she's kind of like relatively easy, but also Espa is like popular. So we'll see how that goes. That's everything that I have for this binder. La Seraphim now has their own binder because that binder, my girl group binder, was getting too full and my La Seraphim collection was my biggest collection. So I said, okay, you guys can have your own binder. Um, I already had this cover. This was made on like one of my first Instagram lives like a long, long time ago. And it used to be my MISC binder, like where I keep my non-collection photo cards and stuff. And ever since that collection moved to like an A5 binder, this has been rotting. So I figured this was perfect. Perfect time to break this binder back out since I'm actually having a La Seraphim binder. They have their own collection now. So I talked about it in my last storing video, but I was supposed to complete La Seraphim up until easy, at least in the last video. But I forgot that <laughs> this Yunjin card was actually on the way to me in my Mercari order. So I finally have it now, um, which means La Seraphim is now caught up until easy. I never thought I'd see the day, especially because of her, but that's okay. We got there, we're here. Now we just have to worry about easy. And I do have some easy cards today. I got um, some albums and some pops actually. I hosted a group order. Let me just say, <laughs> hosting group orders is not for the week. It's actually really stressful. The group order that I hosted wasn't even hard. It was two album sets, but for some reason, like, oh my God, it was so stressful. If you're thinking about hosting group orders, make sure that you're mentally prepared. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I just have some like pulls from the albums that I got. I got pretty lucky. I pulled out of the six albums that I got, five out of the six were my biases. However, one of them was an Unche that I accidentally already have on the way. <laughs> Whoops. And then one of them was a dupe of this Kazuha. So um, I have to trade two of them, but these three I can store away. And they actually say like the version name on the back. I don't think the other albums did that, but it makes it like so much more like simple and like easy for me. Yeah, that, that, that make it look easy. So those are my photo book polls. I should have this Unche on the way and then whatever trades I get from like my extra cards and stuff. I don't have anything else for the compact versions. I still haven't bought Kazuo or Unche's. I might change my mind about buying the actual compact version and see if I can just find the photo card. Then same with the Weebers. I'm not going to buy a Weebers album. I'm just going to see if I can buy the photo cards. Um, and then the whole reason that I like hosted the group order was so I could get a pop set um, to like fill up this page. Instead of having like a six page pattern, I wanted to have a full nine page. So I picked a pop set that I thought looked cute and I hosted. And these are the three pre-order cards I got. These are from the Weaver shop from the standard edition. So, and I think they all have different hair colors. Well, actually not Kazuo, but I think like Unche, this is her only purple hair photo card. Unless this is a purple hair photo card. I don't know. But I don't think Yunjin has any like red hair photo cards. Again, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making stuff up. But that's everything that I have for the Seraphim. So next is Luna for B. 
BBC Luna, I have one card, but it is a pob, so it's not even like for this front section. It goes right here. I made this spot for it and everything. This is my first ever flip that pre-order card, and it is Everline. I really so badly and desperately want to get more Luna pobs, specifically for flip that and for and. Those are like my main priority albums because those are Kim Lip's best pre-order cards and she has a lot more for flip that than she does for and so i think i just want to fill my pages more with pods like this is really cute except for like the damage in the corner but if you ignore that excited to have my first ever flip that came with pop you would think by now i would have one already but it shocked me <laughs> to learn like when i went to go find a spot to put this that i had none i said oh okay but those days are over i am now Kim Lip flip that popped up. Next is Artemis. I have one Heejin card. Ta-da! I should have this 221 on the way in a trade, and I just need to buy 216 and 219. My goal for Artemis is actually to catch up with Heejin before they have a their debut or whatever, their comeback, whatever you want to call it. Just to make my life easier, because I'm collecting OT5, I don't want to have to worry about that collecting while, you know keeping up with my OT5 collection, so. Um, excuse my voice, because I'm hella sick right now, but me editing me um, is here to deliver the news that Mod House actually has not included any photo cards, any, sorry, objects in the Artemis debut, and let me just say I'm beyond pissed. I am beyond upset about the fact that I'm not going to be able to collect OT5 for their debut and i hope last minute they add objects they add something something because the whole point of me wanting to buy the album is for the fucking photo cards so if you don't have photo cards what am i supposed to do with that listen to the cd hell no anyway just thought i would update you guys like screw everything that i said about like my ot5 collection because it's not happening anymore because there's quite literally nothing for me to collect Anyway, enjoy this Luna Luna concert clip. Miss them so bad. Luna, I miss you. Come back. Yeah, that's the Heejin I have. I have one Kim Lip Pob. This is a FLNK, I think. Yes, it is. And she's so cute. She wrote I Heart You on the back. And I think she has another rose card like this that I want to get also. My main prios for Kim Lip Pobs this album is the My Neighbor Totoro card. The other rose card the mirror selfie card and then the card where she has the red bow in her hair and then i think i'll be satisfied for pre-order benefits for this album next album is a whole other story we'll have to see okay i am almost done with lusumble i'm missing one card and i have it secured on a trade in a trade pardon me on the way here we have my ever music cards i have all of the ones i was missing except for this go on this go on i have coming in a trade however so don't fret and this is perfect timing because they are having a comeback next month. I'm super excited. I'm also like really broke. <laughs> so I'm trying not to like buy or join a bunch of group orders. I think I've joined one um, for a signed dungeon. And then I think for now, unless I, you know, we'll see how that tax return looks. And then I can decide if I want to join more like pre-order benefit group orders. This isn't right. Oh, yes, it is. Pre-order benefit group orders. Or if I just want to like try to buy the inclusions after the fact, because sometimes that's cheaper than like buying pobs with inclusions we'll see this heiju might be my favorite heiju of the entire album it's you know it's a <laughs> toss-up between these two honestly i think nobody gets the space version is this the space version yeah no what is this version wish dream nobody gets the dream version like heiju gets the dream version so yes i'm literally only missing this card because i also have this last yojin the qr card feel free to scan i have not scanned it so it's all yours so to complete, or like, I guess, catch up on my post-Luna collection, I'm only missing three cards. Two for Heejin and then one for Lusumble. But I have that Lusumble on the way. So technically, only those two cards for Heejin. And then I just need to, like, you know, finish Luna Luna. But <laughs> priorities. I'm, you know, taking one thing at a time. Let's do NCT. Okay, this is new. I made a 127 cover. I've been talking about making a 127 cover four years the front of my 127 collection has been empty for the longest time what inspired me to make this cover was the fact that i picked up jungu <laughs> surprise i picked up jungu i'm not collecting johnny and jungu this might seem familiar to you because there is another very popular <laughs> k-pop collection youtuber who collects these exact members 
a one to seven but that's okay great minds think alike we'll be collecting them in different ways so it'll still be interesting um anyway yeah so i had to like i did it off camera i should have done it on camera after the fact i was like maybe i should have just waited but it was too late i wasn't gonna like undo all of the work that i did to set up for jungo it's not a perfect setup it's just hard because some albums like this have perfectly four cards and then the next album will have five how am i gonna collect 10 cards on a nine pocket page you can't without like double siding, which is what I ended up doing. So like favorite has four cards and then you get to two baddies. Well, two baddies is different because I'm not collecting Jungu's like Korea, Japanese and international exclusives. I'm only gonna keep what I have for Johnny. So I was able to use like this extra Johnny page for my extra Jungu. This is the only Jungu card I have <laughs> for my whole collection. Um, but then like Ayo has four, oh, perfume. And then fact check has five. Like they have to make it really complicated for me. If every album had four cards consistently, then this would be perfect. But what can you do besides complain? While we're here on fact check, I do actually have Johnny's full set for fact check. Um, I bought these on Mercari before I decided to collect Jungu. Otherwise, I probably would have looked for Jungu's cards as well. However, um, at least I have Johnny done. And I don't know which card is which. I believe... This is his QR card, <laughs> which like I said, like the layout is really stupid looking. If anyone has a smarter idea for how I can collect two members without double siding and then without like not collecting certain cards, um, let me know. But for now, this is what I came up with. I think this is the QR card. I think this is his Smitty. I'm gonna have to get my, hold on. I'm going on Twitter because I don't have a, okay, 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 okay. Where's, hello, okay. I'm missing one. Oh, this one is the chandelier version. Next. Can you see what I'm doing? This is the exhibit version. Next. QR version. Oh, I was wrong. Thank God I checked. Next. Storage version. And then that means this is the Smini, right? Smini. Okay, let's put that away. And like normally I wouldn't care about how it's like laid out or whatever because it doesn't matter the version order. However, since I'm collecting two members now, I want the matching versions to be opposite of each other. Again, that also doesn't really matter, but it makes the most sense in my head. Is this right? Did I already get them out of, I don't think so. I think I'm fine. And then this silly little QR version goes here. Maybe one day I'll figure out something better. Who knows? We'll work on Jungwoo. Jungwoo is like a later me problem. Um, the One of the sets that I bought my fact check cards in came with this Mumo Pob. So I'm going to keep it. Ta-da! I think this is his target card, target card, Apple Music, Mumo. Oh, and I also have this Jungwoo that I pulled. Um, I stored this in my last video, actually. But since I'm collecting Jungwoo now, I decided to put him on my extra, like, Johnny page. It's going to be my extra 127 page now. Okay, for Dream... I'm going to be almost completing ISTJ today. Almost. So close. I think I'm missing two. First things first. Jisung poster version. I actually have, well hopefully, this Mark, Mark Sung unit um, on the way to me. So then the only Jisung card I'll be missing is this one. Please, if anyone has it and wants to sell or trade, let me know. Okay. I'm missing the last, well, not missing the last uh Jamin card anymore this card was not like hard in the sense that I never saw it it was just always overpriced and I get it he has pink hair he's cute he's sexy like I understand more than probably most people but it's a QR version card you know the album is cheaper than the normal album photo book why is it more than like his introvert card I don't get you guys sometimes oh and then I have his mini also Jisung's mini So this page, <gasps> wow, 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 it's that's a carrot cake. cake, that's crazy. And then, this is my setup for their new comeback, I am collecting top three again. They made it really easy this time, they have six cards, or yeah, six cards per member. So I have the photo books, the dream mini, which is like the case version, QR, the ID that came with the QR. Oh no, I think the ID came with the case version actually, and then this mini. Nothing else for a dream. I finally am going to be putting away the On My Youth cards. For as much as I talk about how easy Hender is, it has taken me thousands of years. Millenniums. Centennials. Is that right? Centuries. <laughs> um, to get these Hendry cards. I just wanted to find them all in a set for cheap. So I was searching for a long, long time until I found a set that tickled my fancy. 
But yeah, this is his diary version. This is his photo book version. And then this is the Smini version. A lot of big moves with NCT today. I finished Johnny for fact check. I'm almost done with ISTJ. I'm caught up with Henry now. Big day, big day. Since I know how cheap Henry can be, I had really, 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 really low expectations for how much I wanted to pay for Henry's set. So I did, I waited. Um, the set also came with a Mumo Pop. If you ever shop on Mercari Japan, I don't know if it's just an SM group thing, but if you're looking for sets of cards, there's gonna be a fucking Mumo Pop in that set. They wanna get rid of their Mumo Pops so bad. I don't know if Mumo is like a Japanese store and that's why everyone on Mercari Japan has 10,000 copies of Mumo cards. I don't seek them out, but if they come in the set that I'm buying, like I'm not gonna say no. So that's what I have for Henry. Hopefully SM gives them a comeback before the end of the year. Fingers crossed. If they're getting one, I'm sure it's already in that like schedule thing that SM releases, but I don't I don't look at that. <laughs> I like to be surprised. Oh, dream comeback? Say it ain't so. Anyway, um, I actually have some stuff for Golden Age finally. Finally. I'm trying to catch up on this so bad. So bad. Okay. I just have Jamin's like his non-photo card photo cards, if you know what I mean. So for the transport card, I have actually changed like my layout for Golden Age. It used to be archiving yearbook pob and then the next page was collecting version transport card pob i don't want to collect pobs i don't want to collect six extra pobs that i don't need to collect so i'm double siding my worst enemy but what can you do okay so for golden age i'm only missing one card per member and two of them are like these stupid you know transport id whatevers um so those should be easy especially because they're for johnny and henry this is going to cause me a little bit of trouble. I have not seen this card for cheap. I understand the hype around this card. Hold on. Let me show the audience. Let me ask the audience. Right? Like, that makes sense. But this is just like a normal photo card to me. I think he's doing like a kissy face in it or something. But $18 on Poke Market for this is crazy. Okay, the rest of what I have is for like extra. I just... <laughs> I have so much extra NCT cards that I decided to give them their own section in my NCT binder. Yeah. This is the stack of cards that I have for my extra section. For things that I don't collect. Why do I have this many? Only God knows. I don't know why I buy cards that I'm not collecting. I was filling out a Chunla um, template the other day just to see like what cards I had and which ones I needed. I think I'm over 50% done with his collection for like what I would want to collect. Which is crazy considering I don't collect Chunla. Anyway, <laughs> that being said, I have all these trouble cards <laughs> to get put away today. Um, and I already like went through and figured out like where they're gonna go. So I didn't have to do it on camera because I'm a genius. But I have two hot sauce cards. I don't know which version this is. I think this is crazy version. Um, and I already have drool case card, question mark. And then this is his, oh, this is Hello Future actually. His uh, special agent card for Hello Future. And then the Hello version of Hello Future. One of his best, I think. Pink hair. Bring back pink hair. Chon La. Wait. Anyway, and this is a candy card. So candy. I had <laughs> I had to make a overflow page for Chon La and Jisung because it was getting out of hand. <laughs> I have too many. Um, speaking of Jisung, I have no words. I don't know how to explain, but I have three more. I have three candy cards. This, one of Jisung's best. His special version for candy, though, also up there. I don't have it. But when I get it, you will not hear the end of it. So here's my, um, I guess I can put sleeves here. Maybe I'll do that off camera. Here's my Jisung and Chunla sections. And then I have, oh my God, you know what? Okay, before this video, I went through this binder and I had the cards like this. And I was like, why do I have like a random gap in the middle of my cards? So then I moved them back up. I, I, I'm so stupid. I had prepared for these. If you think that I don't have an explanation for why I buy my Chunla and Jisung cards, who are my fourth and fifth biases in NCT, I have zero explanation for why I have three Beatbox Rungeon cards, considering he's not in my bias line in NCT whatsoever, anywhere. <laughs> he is a part of my old unit. I love Renjun, but why did I buy these? I don't have any recollection of buying these cards. My best, like, bet is is that they were super cheap because i genuinely have no idea <laughs> why otherwise i would have bought these they're super cute don't get me wrong i'm just saying from like a overconsumption standpoint why am i buying these cards that i don't need i'm gonna keep them obviously and they'll be great when i eventually collect ot7 <laughs> they'll be so great but for now they're just gonna sit back here um behind my twenty thousand chunla and jisung cards 
that's everything that I have for NCT today. I have big plans for the future of NCT. And by that, I mean one plan that I might make a video out of. <laughs> one, just one singular plan. Okay, last is twice. Yes, okay. Look at this new cover I made. I forgot I made this till right this very second, but I'm gagged. I made this with youth cover with my top three because my last cover was outdated because it had Nayansana and Dahyun. So and since I had so many copies of with youth, why not? And I chose the lesbian concept. Duh. Um, okay, so for twice. I have a couple Minas. These are just like a couple Minas that I bought. Oh, also someone pointed out in my last video. Actually, a couple comments pointed out in my last video that I put this Mina in the wrong spot and I have yet to fix it. Where is this? Oh, here we go. So whoops, and thanks to everyone that commented. These are very similar sets in my defense. I just saw the heart in the corner and assumed, but now it's fixed. Everyone get their panties out of a twist. And I lost my train of thought. Oh, these are just like a couple Mina cards that I bought on Mercari, like right after I decided to drop the icon and pick up Mina. I think I bought like, yeah, three cards <laughs> for Mina. Nothing crazy. I still, in case you're looking for an update for the package that um, got lost with all the Minas in it. It's still missing. It's still somewhere out in the world. <laughs> but what can you do? Um, I think one of these cards is also a reprint because it's glossy. Oh yeah, it's this one. I really only want to collect the matte versions because that's what my Nyan and my Sana cards are because I think I finished What is Love like right before or like really shortly after they switched the prints from matte to glossy. So all of my sauna and my nylon and I think all of my OT9 sets too are all matte and I kind of want to have that for Mina too. But I'm not going to be picky um, for right now. I'm just going to like put away what I have. If I finish my Mina collection and decide, yeah, I want matte, then I'll go and like switch out my mattes for, or um, switch out the glossies for mattes. But for now, I'm not going to worry about it. It is what it is. I think this means that I'm going to have um, at least one Mina on each of my What is Love pages. So yippee. Oh, and let's see. This says Aso. Aso. Aso? I think when it was Dahyun, it said ASL, like American Sign Language. This is less cool. But actually, someone pointed out in my comments of the last video that my Yes or Yes set is going to say YYY, which I think is cooler than what it was before. I think it was YY Yes when I had Dahyun in here. So I'm excited to get this. I think it'll be cool and consistent. Um, I do have a card for Yes or Yes, actually. Oh, this was gifted to me. Hold on, I need a sleeve. Someone that I traded with just included this in the card. Like, they had not told me about it beforehand. And then it just showed up. And I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute. So I do have this Jihyo. I'm only missing the Mina. And then Yes or Yes will be done. Well, okay. <laughs> I forget that I, you know, stopped clicking Daikyo. <laughs> I forgot that I'm not done with yes or yes anymore for my top three. <sighs> okay, and that's everything that I have for twice. Well, for this binder. This is like, I've changed some of my A5 binders around. This used to be my 5050 and L's up binder. I decided to make it my twice binder, my twice A5, I guess. I hate the cover. I thought I was doing something with like the little pop stickers in the corner. I hate it. I think I'm gonna take them off and either leave it blank or put something else. I don't know, but I hate this. The inside I like better. I think it's funner in here. Um, I put like my top three stickers down here. I have like random, you know, I think it's fun. But this is gonna be my new twice solos binder. Uh, Jungyun solo in May, hello? Hello? So that's gonna go in this binder soon. But I do actually have something for this binder, finally. I have this Jihyo mic card um, that I traded for. I thought this was gonna be harder to get, turned out to not be like super hard. For some reason I'm struggling with Jihyo Yolo, more than I ever thought I would. However, I think I bought these two cards, this card, and then one of these cards from somebody. So I'll only be missing, I think, this one. And then I'll have Yolo done. Just in time for Jung Yolo. Jung Yolo. Jolo. Jolo? Jung Yolo. Whatever we're calling it. But yeah, that's, ooh, that was a loud clap. That's everything that I have for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video, hopefully soon. Bye.